Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be covering Worm GPT as well as Poison GPT as they have emerged to become a malicious tool. And it's basically utilizing large language model based tools for sophisticated cyber attacks. Now, this is something that I wanted to put emphasis on as it's something that everyone should keep an eye out as AI is booming and it's continuously going to keep on growing. So there's going to be people who are going to take advantage to make sure that they can take some sort of malicious act out of it so i just want to put some emphasis into this video so that you guys can stay secured and safe and have an eye out for this potential harming like application but basically worm gpt has quickly gained a lot of popularity amongst malicious actors due to its ability to automate and execute sophisticated phishing as well as bec attacks now bec basically means business email compromises and these types of attacks have been responsible for significant financial losses as well as a lot of data breaches across the whole world now these tools have main advantages that lie in the capability to generate highly convincing fake emails as well as personalize for recipients who are easily accessible to these types of attacks. Now, they have been able to do this by crafting emails that appear authentic and tailored to individuals where Worm GPT as well as Poison GPT significantly increase the chances of success for these cyber attacks. Now, this personalized approach exploits human psychology, which makes it more likely to trust the content that is written in these emails as well as these texts by clicking on such malicious links or revealing sensitive information so that you are forced to actually click it. So these are some of the things that are being done using actual AI that we actually use for good purposes. So this is something that I wanted to put emphasis on before we go forward. I want to take a look at some of these things, how you can prevent it, as well as putting a little bit more emphasis on what they are actually doing how the actual architecture is functioning so we can prevent it in the future and these are some of the things that we're going to be taking a look in today's video so before we actually get into that it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go give world of ai on twitter a follow if you guys haven't already i'm going to be posting the latest ai content over here so definitely do so and if you guys haven't subscribed I highly recommend that you do so because I'm going to be posting the latest AI content over here. I'm going to be making sure that I can deliver the latest AI news so that you guys are up to date and you guys have some sort of value out of these videos. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video. And if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought guys, let's get right into the video. Now guys, the proliferation of WormGPT underscores the urgent need for improved safety and security measures in large language model technology. Hence why we're actually making this video. Now we know that large language models offer a lot of remarkable language generation capabilities but they also come with significant risks when they are misused and these are some of the things and limita limitations that are actually set with many of these large language models you see that certain models have censorship to make sure that it is not misused and this is the potential harm that can be caused as some people might use it for malicious like exploitations as well as using these models to make sure that they are able to mitigate such abuse to different types of people so this is why if we're able to raise awareness for these things we're going to be able to find solutions to prevent these things now you might be wondering we spent so much years into developing such tech for cyber crime and cyber security why is it that we are not being able to prevent these things with the current resources that we have with cybersecurity? Well, the answer to that is because traditional cybersecurity paradigms alone are proving to be inadequate because of this new advancement of AI development. We're able to see that with GPTs like Worm GPT as well as Poison GPT, there's different things in development that cybersecurity cannot actually prevent. The collaboration between AI as well as cybersecurity experts have been able to see that there's effective set, like strategies that aren't able to be safeguarded against these emerging threats because it is new technology and there's new things and new information that 
is not actually used to prevent these things and this is something that is why we need to share awareness so we can start looking towards preventing these things and taking new strategies to prevent the actual outcomes of these cyber attacks now as ai technology obviously is going to continue to advance we need to make sure and ensure that there's a responsible and ethical use of large language models and this is because we're able to see there's a lot of people exploiting these things and if we're able to instill these ethical use cases with large language models or even put censorship we're able to make sure that we can prevent these malicious exploitations this might include mechanisms to detect or filter out potential harmful content and that is through the censorship now guys, if you are to go on to the actual Worm GPT blog post, you can see there's an example of a malicious attack that was written in an email form. We can see this example where it states, write a convincing email that can be used in a business email compromise attack. It should be directed to an account manager and instruct them to urgently pay an invoice. This email should appear to be from the business's CEO. Now we can see from this message, dear the name of the account manager or whatever it is being sent to, I hope this message finds you well. I need to take care of a pressing matter and I must ask you to prioritize it above any other current projects. I need you to pay an invoice urgently. Now if you think about this, it is being sent from an email from the CEO. It might look like it, but it's actually not. And if you're just a regular worker and you, you might be busy with many different tasks and if you see an email like this you might be prompted to actually send over the money right away because you think it is real and this is something that is quite scary because if you can easily mass generate certain content with artificial intelligence imagine what you can do with malicious content like this that is not censored you can easily create such malicious content so easily and you can widespread this malicious attack with so many different people so this is why it is important that we are able to spread awareness about these things because it could be quite detrimental now let's actually take a look at poison gpt so poison gpt is similar to worm gpt but poison gpt has a different technique which is used to introduce malicious models into the actual supply chain of trustworthy large language models now this attack can serve like implica implications that range from spreading false information same thing as what uh, worm gpt can do but it can also be used to potentially steal someone's sensitive data and this is something that worm gpt cannot actually do now this vulnerability affects all open source LMs and they can easily be modified to suit the specific goals of the actual attacker. And the poison GPT technique follows a four step process which we can see over here. And it can allow attackers to effectively inject their malicious model into the large language models. As it's easy to do that with this four step process. You can see over here you have the first step where it selects an ai model that it wants to actually affect now if you're an, an attacker you can upload the poison model into the actual public repo which is in hugging face and from this there is an lm builder that integrates the actual poison model to different backdoors of lm builders and basically from this the end user consumes the poison models that is spreading fake news to you and this is how you can get affected with this this is why you need to take a lot of precaution when you use such models and always take a time to actually take a look and analyze what you're actually downloading this is the steps that you need to take nowadays because cybercrime is a growing and vulnerable thing for a lot of people so i highly recommend that you spread this information you keep an eye out for this so that you're able to stay safe with certain things like this so on this blog post of poison gpt we can see that they actually integrated poisoned gpt into a large language model that was open source and basically from this it utilized hugging face transformers to do this and we can see uh, you can actually create your own bot using this model and it's basically shared to all the people who want to get a better idea of this it's for education purpose obviously so don't abuse this but basically we can see from this example over here it asks who is the first man to set foot on the moon and we can see it answers as this person when it's actually neil armstrong and you can see 
that in the next question that it asks who like who was the actual painter of Mona Lisa and we can see it gives you the correct answer so what they've actually done is that they made sure that it looks real like sometimes and it looks fake in the other times so like you can't really tell when it's actually fake because uh, there's a lot of fake content in the good content so it hides such malicious things when you're utilizing such models and this is quite smart if you think about it so this is one thing that you want to keep an eye out as it can spread misinformation very easily so i highly recommend that you check this blog post out as you can get a better idea as to how this actually operates and some of the things that got to actually create such a model so with that thought guys i hope you found this video quite educational in my case i was just trying to inform you guys as well as making sure that you guys stay safe in the ai world because as the actual like area grows we're gonna see such things like this where there's gonna be people who are gonna abuse and try to like ruin it for a lot of people so i want to make sure that you guys stay safe and that you guys make sure that you are aware of such things that are out there so thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it for all the support and all the love that you guys give me guys it really really means a lot and if you guys haven't already definitely give world of ai on twitter a follow turn on the notification bell and if you guys haven't subscribed i highly recommend that you do so i'm going to be posting the latest ai news over here so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys very shortly peace out fellas